Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to Something Else Amiga. I got a box of 3M filters. This is from Mr. Frederick P. So let's unbox this small thing. Pull thing wants to open. Yeah, inside we have a note. And I'm going to put this pizza on the floor because she's extra large. Okay, so I have a, a, a something. I have a double boxed, very well packaged, very well packaged, outlined in foam with a box inside. Wow, even more great packaging. I guess this is the daughter board in here. The daughter board. Trust me, you'll be getting all of the packaging. Avalanche. Everything just, everything just fell over. <laughs> Oh, that box and packing material stacked it like this. I just fell over. Take a peek here at our Mega 3000. You guys, pack this like you don't trust the postal service. Here is our Mega 3000 with a bullet hole. Kickstart 2.04 ROMs. Superbuster 07, Ramsey 04, DMAC 02, Western Digital 3390 or 33 the C93 Alpha SCSI chip non-proto amber with some brown dots a really crusty 8372B and just general dirt she is a oh no she's a 16 megahertz emotional damn it 16 megahertz ones always are destroyed they're always like trashed <laughs> so there's a note that says hello dr. Chris thank you for taking a look at my Amiga 3000 this does boot into kickstart and was able to test VGA output via the scan doubler it doesn't have much 15 kilohertz I admit as I'm just getting back to speed I haven't tested much else why I sent it in I cleaned up the battery acid and flushed under the chips with some vinegar distilled water and IPA I worry I missed some. Could use your professional touch. There you go. That'd be eight dollars. I can see some damaged traces and vias that look shady and we'll need a solder drag or so. I'm not sure if there's enough left on the mounts but a new battery socket will be awesome. We'll see what we can do. Any other repair or suggestions you're welcome. Your expertise is appreciated. This is in no rush. She has slept in storage for 20 years probably with the battery. She'll wait until you have time. I really appreciate you looking it over. When it comes time to ship it back, let me know. I'll send you a label. After watching your TF1260 video, I have also sent along a CPU deinstaller tool. That's what this is. A CPU deinstaller tool I used for SunSpark systems. Hopefully it's the right size to help you with those tight 68060 sockets. Well, thank you, sir. This is cool. I'm going to check this thing out real quick because this is a CPU -E installer thing. Oh, it's, oh, that is cool. You stick it in there, it grips the mofo, and then you just give her a crank and she says, I'm not effing around, you're coming out. You got a little width adjustment here. If you got a fat one, you can juice her up a little bit to get around that, you know, that big thing. That is really nice. Thank you very much. Wow, you can set limits in the depth gauge here of, of how far out and in to go. That really would have come in handy for removing that 060 of Mr. Kevin's on that TF-1260 and the install of that other one where I had to use every bit of arthritic force to give that a click. Thank you very much. Okay, so supposedly she boots. If she boots, that is half the battle right there. The little bodges and cleanups and stuff are a piece of cake on a working machine. So we have a Vision 7.1 daughter board with caps that look okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do some cleanup. There are a couple busted lines for the battery. Go figure. Uh, we have a green jumpers. Oh, they're frozen in place. So here is your sundial, right? Let me get a poker. Here's your battery hole. She got shot. We have green on the amber circuit. Just that's that's great. No big deal. Clean her up. And the crustiness continues from the bullet hole here. Uh, the 74 logic, the uh, field 
Okie Data Field, Ram, Red, Green, Blue. Four buffers for Amber, Vidiot 1, Vidiot 2. Amber's got something growing on her. Let me introduce you to Miniature Dr. Chris. <laughs> Check this guy out. This is from Jonathan. Dr. Chris, Commodore logo, my pants, my lab coat with the Commodore thing and the pen. My glasses, helmet of goober, my awesome hairdo. This was hand painted. My pseudo, my pseudo uh, notepad. Pseudo is what gets you what you always want. Name something that can get you what you want. Pseudo. So, Minister Dr. Chris, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan, for 3D printing and hand painting Minister Dr. Chris. That is awesome and I love it. I have two of them in case one broke so I thank you greatly for that and I love it. Don't ever clean up because you lose things. Holy Christmas. Okay this jumper goes right in the trash. We're grabbing a new one because that thing is beat up. Keep a little crack sized bag full of jumpers that I take from old PCs and motherboards, I strip them down and take their screws and there we go. Fresh jumper. I'm also going to do the same thing for every jumper on the board. Just raise it and lower it a couple times. God. Why? Because they get frozen in time and they might not be making contact properly. Jeez, this is, this saw, this wire sucks. All right. This is just my preliminary checkup. Jeez. Pre-fire test whatever pre-flight checklist we have no PAL or NTSC jumper so that might explain RGB we're gonna grab a nice uh, yellow one for that this is America so you know it's a NTSC yep she's still overclocked to 25 even though it's got a 16 megahertz processor on it everything's set to 25 why not we're gonna do three tests first we're gonna do RGB energize I tell you now, Paula is crusty as hell. And we got blue. Paula is like so green. Like so green. It is horrible. This ain't working. What do you mean this works? My Amiga boots in a kickstart. I was able to ask the text. Is this before you cleaned it? So it's not booting anything. God. God damn it! <laughs> It doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh my god, I wonder why you don't work, holy crap. All right, that's RGB, so that's not doing nothing. Let's, just to tickle my fancy, let's stick her in amber. Ah. It's not booting. It won't hold phase, it's trying to boot, but it won't boot. So, initial power up test. I thought it would work, it doesn't work. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this pizza close-up. Okay, so you have a bullet hole battery. You have a Paula that is totally green. You have a Denise that actually doesn't look bad, except for a couple pins. Where are you at? A couple pins up here. A little crusty. Could have some schmo... Oh, the socket's toast. Shoot. The up amp area pine needle in it, some rust or spider eggs behind there. Yeah, so this area, you know it. Denise, Paula, freaking toast. Looks like they're sort of working or did work and uh, don't now. So I'm gonna listen for some crunch. Yep. Oh god. I think the cleaning or the, the vinegar just soaked through and made it not work. Here's Paula. You can see she's got some beef in her teeth and some chicken too. Ouch, that's a cavity. Hey, that's new. So there's a piece of wood. Uh, that's no big deal. That's there's another piece of cardboard. 
there is residuals from the vinegar here. And let me tilt this pizza up so you can see. Uh, if you can see the white stuff on Denise here, that uh, that's not good. So we're gonna be. I'm just gonna put some turn pin sockets in there. They're better for you. Let's do something cheesy. Bronze brush, rubbing alcohol, just giving her the scrub down. This is a poor remedy. Knock off the funk. All right, just a quick and dirty lick and a slap without replacing sockets, just to knock the knock the Oreos out of her teeth. And then I'll do the same for the chips. Hit it with a quick fiberglass pen just to wake them up a little bit. Knock the green off. Okay. Well, let's see what happens now. Just to see if we get anything. Low. High. Blink, 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 blink. So something's busted still somewhere. We'll see if Diagram helps us out. I will have to right click on it. Energize. We do get diagram. UDS LDS, wonderful. We get display on the screen. Alright, so, yay. 68 to 32 makes a chip. Okay. Testing CIAs. She is jumpered in PAL, that's why this is working. Okay, okay. Oh no, bad CIA. CIA A. What the hell one's A? I don't know. What I can do is I can flip the CIAs. Turn it off. Alright, try it again. Energize off the strip. Uh, it's still doing this thing. UDS LDS is detected. Alright, let's go. Uh, CIA's, does B fail now? It can't be. Jumper, NTSC, Energize. Didn't even have a jumper on it. I need to hook up a mouse to this thing. That'll tell me if it's working right away or not. Does it work? It, the sort of. Hell, it, we're in here. Let's do audio test. At least we have a booting amiga. Excuse me, Dr. Chris. Well, good. We're, we're close, you know. Let's test Amber. I'm going to put this back up. I'm going to flip this switch down. Amber's working. She's a little crusty. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to leave it run. 320 by 200 screen. Nope. Serial output is not possible during this test. So, crash. Could be the ROMs died. So, we have a sort of working machine. It just won't boot a kickstart ROM. I'm going to let the memory test run on Diagram here, and we're going to see what we get. We're going to cool off with a nice cold wobble pop. Okay, 2048, boom, done, passed. Now, if this even works, I'm going to put sockets in it, okay? I can't let it go green like this, because it'll just come back and bite you in the hooch. Turn this off. We're going to pull Diagram out, and I'm going to put some 3,000 ROMs in here. We still have a problem. Now, Diagram doesn't need anything to load anything. You don't even need half your chips in there. It's very minimal config to boot, and this is just blinking, blinking. It functions enough to let Diagram boot, which is a good thing. It is Sunday at 6.01 p.m. My time is up for the week repairing. So for you, it's going to be literally a second. For me, it might be several days. See, told you it'll be a couple seconds. It's uh, 4.53 p.m. Working on Mr. Fred's board. Uh, last we checked, we sort of had diagram working, and, you know, it's sort of, it's trying to boot. 
Now, Mr. Fred did say he cleaned this up with some vinegar and IPA, and I think it's set for a couple months, and some shizzle happened. It's okay. We have life. Um, 99.62481, maybe 2%. Sure, it is Denise and Paula. So, we're going to pop them out using my uh, Premier Chip Removal Tool. Chubby Checker Edition. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Plus, if I messed it up, it wouldn't matter because I'm fixing it anyway, right? Uh, yeah, it's still ashing out even though I cleaned it. So we're going to remove Denise and Paula and take a look underneath. It's 5 o'clock on the nose, so I'll check back when we're done, see how long it takes me, and we'll take a peek. And at what 5.20 on the Omnibot clock. Two sockets out. Like normal, I cut them in half on the ribs on the top. Pull out a side at a time. Um, remember, I brushed these. They are crusty. But there's a lot of, like... Leftover vinegar acidy schmutz and cleanup. I pulled out approximately this much lead out of the thing. I could probably make some ammo. Just kidding. Where is it? Right there. That's a lot for I mean size of my thumb. That's a lot of a lot of lead. First we'll do Denise since she's always the graphics. She don't look too bad, okay? But there is some crustiness around here and that ground plane. No big deal. Uh, some damaged vias right here, so that's probably why it wasn't working too well. Paula, on the other hand, has significant crusties here, 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 all the through here. This back side is fine. There's some damage up here. The ceramic capacitors are going to need to be either removed and reflowed, or just cleaned up and scrubbed down. So the 74ALS74N here, the 74HCO4N. And the NE564 phase lock loop for amber, they're all covered in crud, as are the ceramics all through here, several resistors, one ferrite bead, and the chips themselves have scuzz on them. Uh, one ceramic here, one resistor right in the line of fire on the battery. I'll have to check that one. Oh, it's just coming apart. Right there, you get a better look at her. She's a little bit, you know, just a little bit dirty. You can catch some of the pins here with the crusty butts you know they're supposed to be well like that and maybe that but there's just whiteness you see the whiteness that's a vinegar flush all right so this one may, may be a little bit more of a problem that side cleaned up great oh my god this side looks like somebody pooped on it I got the doogie butt syndrome but i can see some vias so paula's got the doo-doo but you can see the holes, especially on the lower portion down here. Up here, we got some crusties. And it's going to take a little bit of work to fiberglass pin them up. Oh, somebody got a little too excited. A lot of fun. Locked cleanup. Wow. Yep. Two hours later. Cleaned up Paula. You can clearly see the circles. Are they broke? I don't know. Look okay. Do I waste all that time and pin them out or just stick a socket in there? I don't know. So now I gotta do Denise. Look at that. Now she's looking real good. I didn't even fiberglass pen this one. I did have to fiberglass pen that because that chick was burnt slap up. But this one, looking pretty good. You know? Looking really good, actually. So, now the fun part. Alright, so I have opposite corners in. I'm not going to bore you. It's 5.42. Uh, 5.49. Haven't even, like, cleaned it yet. I'm going to toothbrush it. Good. Amber's still crusty. It's still crusty. Chips are still crusty. But I got the two girls that make the magic happen. Energy. Power. Lights. Low. Shit. Low and low. <laughs> uh, oh, we were better off before the socket. We could have pooped ROMs. Damn it. First thing I'm doing, taking them damn ROMs out. Here's my 204. We'll see what they do. 181. 
180. All right, energize, low, high, and blinking. Low, high, and blinking. And the we have a new Paula socket. We have a new Denise socket. But now I'm only getting, let's see, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a long blink. I don't know what that means. That means it don't work. What else was messed with on this girl? Agnes has like wet, wet stuff around her. If this socket cracks, it's gonna suck eggs. Didn't crack. Thank. Oh well, that might be why she's not working. Jeez, it is. It's literally white. Several of the Agnes pins are literally charcoal black compared to the silver they're supposed to be. But the bronze brush, a little deoxid on my hand. Hi, from 626 p.m. It has been a while. I have put new sockets in Denise and Paula and I reseated and cleaned up all the pals and all of the jumpers. This machine is clocked for 25 megahertz, even though she's a 16. That's okay, she'll take it. I hooked up my lights and original 3000 power supply. I currently have my Kickstart 2.0 ROMs in here. This should work. She's all fresh and clean. I gotta clean up some phase lock stuff. I know I love that word. I gotta clean up some amber logic and give the board a bath. But after the PAL removal, which were white ashy, I also pulled Agnes out and gave her a bath with some deoxid because the whole socket was white and ashed over, therefore not making contact. Here we go. Low. High. Bingo. Boom. Mr. Fred, your girl lives. Holy crap. Those are my kickstart ROMs. See, because I label all my stuff like that. I get 3,000 low, high, U181, one. Yours have some glue on them. I'm putting them back in. ROM 0. Okay. ROM 1. Okay. Let's see if they work. No. Stuck in low. Your ROMs are... Bork, bork, bork. That's okay. I got some something. Damn it. Another Commodore ROMs a bit the farm. I don't know why these ROMs have died. They look great. Minus the dot of dot. There's dots on them. Is that a crack? But are we done? You know we're not. CIA all right. Just to make sure we're good. Clear across the board. Audio. Perfect. RTC is detected. I will have to put a battery on here so we're not done. Controller ports. Yep. I don't know where my joystick is, so I can't test that. I need to test Miss Pac-Man's what we need to test. Video. RGB. Looking snazzy. Oh, we gotta do amber. Amber on. Bingo. She's a little off. This is Amiga Test Kit 1.18. That's the one I like the most. Just mainly because floppy drive, when you did a head calibration test, you could actually just do F cylinder 40, cylinder 79, cylinder 0. Look at that. Beautiful display. I mean, yeah, it's black and white because that's what it looked like. This is what Workbench used to look like, guys. I know. It just doesn't do it justice. Okay, so SysInfo won't tell me everything, but at least tell me the tell me a board board library in here, maybe. I forget. I don't know. Boards. Catweasel Z2 iComp.de. Zorro is functioning. It won't go down. <laughs> I am pressing down. It will not go down. Watch. Down. Go. Go down. This is not my fault. I can go up. Go up, left, up. I'm gonna be stuck up here. Oh, it's going down now. Oh, awesome. I have cleaned the area. I have some fiberglass pen work to do in the sundial area. We're gonna be masking it off with the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear number 
3.59 tan lime. It's at the dollar store, but it actually turns out to be almost 99% the same color. Now it looks a little brighter, but it is a little brighter until it dries, and then it's almost identical. This dot right here is a positive battery post. So is this one. These are joined. It goes underneath this chick right here, this resistor and or diode and goes right there to this pole and then it fans out to power your clock circuit and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and all this stuff. So, so we have 1.2 point, 3 point, okay? I am going to flux it real quick at 800 degrees. Yes, don't go to sleep. Just to make sure I got all the the stuff out. Fiberglass pinning the board is dirty entirely. I'm going to clean it, okay? We're going to give it the power wash. WD-40 Specialist Contact Cleaner. Cleaner? WD-40 Specialist Contact Cleaner Quick Drying. That doesn't quick dry. So I have to sit it in front of the fan until all the alcohol dries off. I ran out of batteries on the last repair, remember? I'm like, oh, this is my last battery. You can't see this, but maybe you can. There is a dark end to this dude. And that's the blocky direction. So you want the current to come from the battery, but you don't want it to go back. So you have to block it feeding the positive from the from the circuit. Oh, it's 7.13 p.m. by the way. Hello, it's 8.18 p.m. and I'm back from the dollar store. Anyway, positive side up. I'm a goober. Are you stupid or something? Solder mask the area. The Ground point hole covered. Once that dries, you'll see, hey, we got a green color of lighter green on our copper hole. So I have to let this dry and then I have to do a secondary coat and that'll match the color and seal her up. Now I'm gonna put this bad boy back in. Oh, so what did I buy at the dollar store? I got E-Circuit 2032 batteries that are apparently half full down. I got another pair of 3.25 goober glasses. Uh, I can't see anything. The bronze plastic and steel brushes. Spent nine dollars. And I got my cat some Yao Mix soft irresistible treats. Alright, so I'm randomly gonna test the capacitor. I'm grounding it out so it needs to be discharged before you put it in the capacitor tester, dude. 1647. And this has a 0 0.79 ESR. 44.9. So 45 of 47. These caps are freaking good. And this is cold and not used. I haven't had this on in days. So I'm going to replace this cap with a new one because I'm not going to put an old cap back in. Now let me test the new cap. So this is a new cap, brand new, 2022 production. This is 4802 2.0 ESR. Make sure you breathe in all that dust. So I'm going to now wash her and I'll report back in a second. All clean. Check this out. She looks a hell of a lot better. Let's turn it in the direction you're used to seeing. There's a little chip ram, we have it all shiny. It's hot tank in a can. This is beautiful. What is that? Velvet card. It's been sitting in front of the fan for like 10 minutes. It looks really nice. Cleaned all the little dust boogers in between the card. So the final test I have not checked yet is SCSI. Okay, hi. It's 945. That when you ate crap took a while. Apparently, the 2.04 ROM here can't support big-ass hard drives over like 2 gigs, so I knew that, but I'm stupid, and it's late, and I'm tired, and I've been up for a long time, so you do dumb things. So I sliced down a Zulu SCSI, what size is this? 32 gigabyte compact flash card, I mean, 32 gigabyte micro, uh, Gary was just taking a shit. Anyway, uh, a 32 gigabyte SD card. I carved out a 2 gig HD file in WinUAE, which should have been 1.9 gigs because there's a little overhang on it. And it says RR disk or something. I didn't care. I just built Workbench 2 on it. WinUAE forgot to tell it it was a 3000, so it didn't put the SCSI device. Did it again. And then the hard drive, of course, just pops up on the screen. And I had to make sure it was SCSI.device. Oh, excuse me. 
SCSI dot device for the 3000, then I ran the install, which took a minute because it's all fast. Threw a couple utilities on there too. Now I do have a DH1 partition on this Zulu, but it is 3.2x and it's like 10 gig or something like that. So these ROMs are just going to report it as non DOS, okay? Let's see if it's got my goofy partition in real life. Yeah, RR empty. 1835, that's just overhang because remember, I told you, you can't have a large partition on that. So here's system, and there's the junk I put on there. It's nothing. There's UAE remover. This is a good utility on Aminet if you don't have this. So we're going to run sysinfo. I think this is sysinfo 4. This is a 16 megahertz 030, but it's clocked at 25. So this should be 25 flat. 25 flat. 2 megs per second average for a 3000 of its error. Another Amiga has been saved. With your help, I want to thank every one of you for joining me today on this little endeavor. For you, it's been probably... 30 minutes, maybe 40. For me, it's been three weeks. Yeah, about two or three weeks. So I just want to let you know that, you know, while the whole YouTube algorithm thing is people are watching, they want to see a total restoration from turd to polished mint in one episode. I try, but a lot of times these things are multiple weeks. Sometimes I have some that are months because they are just, whoo. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Another me has been saved. Thanks to you guys' help. If you're interested in helping out others, consider joining my Patreon below. Pay PayPal tips. Get a hot sister. I don't know. Hook brother up. So that's all I got for now. Another Amiga 3000 has been saved. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.